So before I get started, I want to go over a few programming notes. First off, thank you guys for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers. I would not be this channel without each and every one of you supporting me, liking, commenting, putting these videos out on Reddit. I appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. You guys are the batteries of this channel. You keep it going. Also, since it's March Madness, my friend Brett Coleman had a tweet about a bracket of sports YouTubers. And a lot of people mentioned my name just being on that bracket. And for me, just being on that bracket is such an accomplishment. There are so many sports YouTubers, big and small, that I look up to take inspiration from in terms of just like keeping going in this content creator space and just seeing how many cool ways there are to tell stories keeps me going. So I appreciate you guys for putting the input in that bracket and to be mentioned among those names does not, I do not take it for granted. Whether you like my work with Secret Base or you like my work with my personal channel, either way, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And yes, I still work at Secret Base full time. That's my full time job. And I do this YouTube channel as like a part time thing because a lesson to all you sports content creators, your social media platforms are your brand and sometimes they can turn into your career. It's possible, it's doable. Um, it's really important because uh, jobs come and go and social media platforms come and go also, but it's important to have a presence on as many social media platforms as possible if you wanna stick around in the sports media industry. And that brings me a segue into this next topic. So I woke up today getting the news that LeBron James and JJ Redick are starting an NBA podcast or a basketball podcast per se. And it's called uh, Mind the Game. Now it's currently being promoted as a podcast that talks about basketball strategies, X's and O's, uh, certain sets, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that the trailer or the teaser, the two minute teaser of LeBron and JJ Reddit talking about uh, the podcast really excites me because they're really talking about geeking out and nerding out over uh, one basketball player they're talking about for the entire time. And it was cool to see. Here's an underrated thing I think about that teaser is that you saw JJ Reddick actually start drawing and diagramming the plays on paper. And the thing about those two is that you could see both of their passion for the game just spilling out onto the audio. And it's really cool to see something like that. Now, if you're around the basketball community or if you're not, uh, the X's and O's basketball community is a really solid one. But in the overall grand scheme of basketball coverage, and it's seen as more niche coverage and niche content because NBA basketball fandom has a lot of casual fans where it's like you might like the players, you might like the teams, but you might not be geeking out over like pistol action or Spain pick and roll or drop coverage or zoom action or all these other terminologies and plays that happen in the blink of an eye just like that. And with X's and O's being seen as something that's niche compared to the regular basketball media landscape, it's reflected by that in our mainstream media stuff. Uh, first Take doesn't talk about X's and O's. Uh, if you ever watch NBA Today, it's a segment that happens every so often, and there are certain segments that happen on NBA Countdown, but I don't think they really dive super deep into like NBA X's and O's and NBA terminology. Like at the same time, like I know that they're going in depth, but it's still a very like an iceberg of information, and we've only reach the tip of the iceberg in terms of uh, X's and O's talking whatever when it comes to like it being on like ESPN and all of that. But I will say though that Tim Legler, uh, Shanae Gumake, and certain others at ESPN have been paving the way for X's and O's coverage being uh, taught and explained on more of a wider scale. But I understand that at the same time this is an entertainment industry so if talking about X's and O's isn't on the A block or the B block, I totally understand because these TV shows are trying to get a wide audience of people. And if that wide audience of people is not going to be excited about the X's and O's, they're not going to do it that often. So I totally understand why these TV channels 
and whatnot. Uh, stay away from X's and O's often. But I think that LeBron James and JJ Redick, if this podcast does well, I feel like if this LeBron James and JJ Redick podcast goes super well, I feel like we're going to have to stop and take a step back as all of sports media in terms of seeing what is liked and what is not and what there is room for and what there isn't. Now, let me be clear. There have also been other TV shows in the past that are able to talk about X's and O's and strategy, but I kind of remember it more as an ESPN plus bonus where it was like Kobe on detail talking about like breaking down some important plays or whatnot. Usually the X's and O's are segments instead of like full shows or whatnot. And that's why I think that this podcast has the potential to open some eyes to how many people want to talk about strategy of basketball and want to talk about LeBron James displaying his basketball genius for up to 45 to an up to 45 minutes to an hour at a time. And I think that this podcast can be an evolution of JJ Reddick in sports media in terms of yes, he was seen as a professional athlete that loves to talk about X's and O's. And JJ Reddick is like also tapped in with NBA media, which is the cool thing. Like he knows about like the NBA beat writers, the uh, NBA X's and O's people, the good follows on Twitter if you want to learn strategy. So JJ Reddick has been locked in and tapped in on that for a couple of years plus easily. And it's been cool to see what he's been doing with the dunker spot with Nikias Duncan and Steve Jones. And it's also been really cool to see JJ Reddick talk with Tim Legler. It's a really refreshing podcast compared to a lot of the other sports podcasts that are out there, regardless of whatever sport. I feel like I always like learn something when I listen to JJ Reddick and Tim Legler on a podcast. I will say it is not going unnoticed on me how viral the teaser trailer was on Twitter in terms of quote tweets of people that are so excited to hear uh, NBA commentary in this fashion. They're so excited to hear LeBron talk and geek out about basketball genius. Because again, LeBron's been playing NBA level basketball for 21 years. And I've heard all of these other player podcasts and anecdotes talking about how LeBron James will literally call out the other team's play because he's just that smart of a basketball individual. And I know that there might be the other players in the league that could probably do that, I'm sure. I'm not saying that LeBron James is the only one. I'm just saying that for LeBron James to have that reputation and be as popular as he is, I think that LeBron James can help usher in and open the eyes to a lot of sports media people. Also, a lot of sports media higher ups being like, see, X's and O's talk for a long time can work. It can be popular. It can be mainstream. I think that this podcast definitely has the potential to do that. Come on, it's LeBron James. He was in Space Jam 2. Train wreck. I think he could do it. Now, the other thing about X's and O's is that there's a learning curve. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to absorb in terms of basketball terminology, in terms of like basketball. It's not easy to absorb. And I think that this podcast has a chance to make X's and O's as accessible as possible. I saw LeBron's quote tweet saying, wait till we get the visualizations for this, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to see what uh, the team that's working on it under Uninterrupted can do creatively and I know uninterrupted it's one of the best in the business so I have high hopes but I also know that they're going to reach those hopes okay and I think that this is going to be a great opportunity for a lot of fans of LeBron to learn the game and I'm not talking I'm not saying that fans of NBA basketball don't know X's and O's don't know the game but it gives them an opportunity to learn more about the game that they care and love about, you know? I feel like a lot of the X's and O's information or analytics information, it's all over the place in terms of like, you have to go here to find this, you have to go here to find this. It's not in one centralized location. 
but there are so many cool websites and so many cool data visualization places out there that are made because of the absolute sheer passion and love that everyone has for basketball. And I think that this could be a great use of a platform to amplify, to highlight, to shed some light on a lot of these features and a lot of and I think this is going to open a lot of people's minds and eyes to finding new things to research. I really think that this is a golden opportunity to change a lot about how we look at NBA coverage and give a little proof that there is a lot of room for this. And I think that the potential is through the roof. Whether this podcast is just JJ Redick and LeBron James, and whether they have guests, whether they have coaches, whether they have uh, former teammates, whether they have other players, whether they have other beat writers, other uh, film breakdown people on the podcast, I think that the possibilities have to be endless. And that's what gets me so excited about this, because with a podcast like this, with them talking about so many ways and forms of basketball already in the teaser, there have been so many breakdown people on Twitter finding a clip or finding a playset and then matching it to what LeBron is talking about and being like, oh, here's something I broke down from four years ago, whether it, it was the Golden State Warriors or the Michigan State Spartans. So even seeing that aspect where the podcast is going to say something and then a lot of other people around the league are going to do the like not do the work but they're going to also further amplify what lebron and jj reddick are talking about i think that this is going to be a really refreshing era for sports media and knowing that it's the most popular athlete in the nba and one of the most popular athletes of all time he already has the biggest platform so i think that starting from the top in terms of covering this I think that the sky is the absolute limit and I'm excited to listen and I'm excited to learn. So congrats to LeBron, congrats to JJ, congrats to the uninterrupted, congrats to the old man in the three. I am looking forward to each and every episode and yeah, I can't wait. All right, final programming note before I sign off here. I've been doing some 2K simulations on this channel. Uh, they're a little bit longer than these videos. They're not commentary, but I think that these videos are really fun to make and really fun to watch. Just my opinion. I know I'm biased, but I have a special playlist for that too. So if you want to go into YouTube and find that playlist and just watch 2K Sims all day, or if that's something that you want to fall asleep to, feel free. Uh, I look forward to you guys in the next video, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.